My name is Dave DeBroncart. I've been a CaringBridge user since January 30th, 2007. Four weeks before that, I had a shoulder x-ray. Uh, I just had a sore shoulder, but the next morning my doctor called and said, there's something in your lung, which is a really sobering thing to hear. Uh, that was the beginning of a really difficult period of my life. Over the next few days, we found that I actually, what was in my lung was kidney cancer that had spread all through my body. You know, one of the consequences as my energy started to drain was the difficulty of dealing with communication because I had people who wanted to talk to me every day, and I certainly wanted to be in communication with them. I mean, it meant something that they cared about me enough to want to talk about this. But like, I, I remember just pacing around my kitchen on phone call after phone call after phone call, telling the same stuff over and over and over again. And you know, I had a job at the same time, you know, because illness happens while life is happening, and there were other stresses in life. What a huge difference, because for one thing, it meant that I didn't need to make these calls in the evening when people were home from work. Uh, it also meant that they didn't need to be available at a particular time, and I could take my time thinking out what I was saying. I could write it once, and everybody would get an email. It was totally opt-in for them, so I didn't need to worry about whether they wanted to hear more. They could come look at the, what I'd written any time, day or night that they wanted. One thing that surprised me was my support went viral because people would receive these notification emails and forward them to friends. So without my reaching out to people, I'd discover that somebody I hadn't heard from for years showed up and said something nice to me. You know, and that, that was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And you know, when dramatic things happened in the course of my treatment, when I, I fainted and broke my leg because the cancer had eaten a hole in my leg bone, you know, my wife signed in and said, you know, today it's me, not Dave. He's in the hospital. This happened. Uh, and then when I was in the hospital, when I was hospitalized, uh, my hospital offers free Wi-Fi. And so I would be sitting there with my laptop on my lap while I was hospitalized talking to people on Caring Bridge. Uh, just a really wonderful experience. And then, you know, honestly, the, uh, it got to the point where there was cheerleading. You know, and I've never in my life have I had somebody cheer for me. And personally, you know, there's no way to prove this medically, but personally, I have a very strong gut feel that it improved my sense that I deserve to be alive, you know, and to the extent that that helps your immune system do a better job of kicking a disease, that's a great thing. All I can say is, you know, now that I've, uh, I beat the impossible odds and I'm full time now being an advocate for patients being actively engaged in their care and in every single speech I give, whether it's at a Rotary Club or at a medical conference or whatever, uh, I have my slides about CaringBridge. I just think everybody should know this is available.